Hi guys, welcome back. This is going to be a little bit of a shorter video right now. Um, if you can't tell by the title of today's video, we're going to be looking at some brown eyeliners, and I know that seems like a rando topic, <laughs> but there is a reason to it, I swear. But first, if this is your first time here, feel free to reach down and hit like. If this is not your first time here, feel free to reach down and hit subscribe, then like, either or, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Now, I have been in search for just the right shade of brown eyeliner, and what brought this up was Charlotte Tilbury's Barbarella Brown. As you can see, it's kind of short. I've used it quite a few times, but my one frustration with Barbarella Brown is that it don't look brown. It's so dark, it looks almost black. But you see the smoothness with which it applied. There's no tug. It glides. It's gorgeous on the application. I can't even deny that one. Like, it is amazing on the application, but see how dark that is? That is like dark, dark. And then I tried the Sunflower Palette from ColourPop and came across this. It's called Sunny Veil. Vale. This is the brown from the ColourPop. Now, I do not buy any more ColourPops because these things seem to explode on me. But as you can tell, this one is actually much more of a shade of brown. Brown, brown. It's like, yeah, that's actually the kind of shade of brown I'm looking for which led, led me to buy this during the Sephora uh, VIB sale, which I haven't had a chance to even look at this thing, this color. I'm really hoping this matches Sunnyvale or somewhere close. This is brownie. So we're gonna look at brownie right now. That actually is a damn good match, but it glides like the Charlotte Tilbury. So let's just try her on. Okay, she's curious. This is something I discovered with Marc Jacobs. A, it's a twirl up, but B, if you want to sharpen it, it's got this, a sharpener. It's part of the pencil. So if it's not a fine enough point, you pull it out and sharpen it, and you're good to go. Something tells me this is not going to be a good wing night. Nope, nope, it's not. It's okay. I have definitely improved on doing the wing on my eyes, but when Charlotte Tilbury's Barbarella Brown runs out, I will not be repurchasing it. It's not the shade of brown I'm looking for. I'm looking for a brown brown. I know that sounds like a weird thing, but Barbarella Brown is just too dark. It's too dark of a shade, and what I was looking for was something that shows that it is brown. And I had found that color, and I thought quality, a decent quality in ColourPop, and it turned out not to be the case. It is not a good wing night. But I had a hunch when I ordered this that it would be darn close to the ColourPop Brown. And it actually is. It's not quite the same shade. Let's see if this helps. See the brown difference? See how dark this one is compared to these two? These are very close in color, very, very close. So I was basically looking for this shade of brown with that kind of quality. And then comes Marc Jacobs. So what we're going to do is get rid of this. I'm gonna put it in a box over there. I have for decluttering, and when I'm done decluttering, I'll show you guys everything I'm getting rid of, but that is my browns tonight. This is Marc Jacobs brownie. Brownie. And it's actually the brown shade I want. So actually, I think this will go much better with my yellow palettes, my yellow tone palettes, than the Barbarella Brown. I mean, it's not that I just like the quality in Charlotte Tilbury's, I really do. I really, really do. It is so smooth, it glides but it's so dark. And it's like, you know, I put it on and a lot of times it looks like I'm wearing, like looking at my eyes right now, you can tell it's brown. It's a brown brown. Wearing Barbarella brown looks almost like a black, like that bedroom black is just, hasn't quite hit the right opacity. 
Okay, guys, what do you guys think? What do you think of the shade? What do you think of the shades? I mean, is it just me or Charlotte Tilbury's brown really dark? Like, dark, dark. And I liked this color, but the quality of the ColourPop is so very harsh and inconsistent, like you can put it on. But I've had that thing break right in mid-application so many times, and I've tried so hard over and over again, because ColourPop's price point is really freaking good. Unfortunately, the quality matches the price point, and that's a little frustrating when it comes to the eyeliners. Like, I can work with a cheap eyeshadow, but an eyeliner that does not go on well and does not stay on well, it's more of an issue for me. Yep, I like this brown better. Okay, guys. Thanks. Told you it was going to be short. Have a good one.